Hi, first graders. I'd like to go through some telling time things with you. Um, once again, let's review. The hour hand is the short hand, and the minute hand is that longer hand, right? The hour hand shows us, points to what hour it is, and the minute hand, it's those minutes, those 60 minutes that go all the way around the outside, right? Now, what I'd like to practice this week is counting to the five minute intervals, counting by um, five minutes. So what that means is right now my clock shows one o'clock here, right? It's straight up to the top. The short hand is at the one, the long hand is at the zero, zero. So that's one o'clock. Now, if I move it right here, this is showing 105. If I move it again, it's showing 110. Now, I'd like to show you what that looks like when you're writing it, just to review that with you for a minute. First of all, you write the hour, that comes first, and then the two dots, and then you write down what the minutes are. So this clock right here shows 110, okay? Now, let's keep talking. Now, this minute hand moves slowly around, right? It moves slowly around the clock, and as I move the minute hand, notice this hour hand is moving as well. Now, it is right now 110. 30 on this clock, which shows that the hour hand is halfway, um, halfway past the one o'clock, right? Now I'm going to go back to the one o'clock and the minutes that are moving around are counting by five starting at the one, right? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, right? So it notice it's getting closer and closer to the two. And it almost looks like it's starting to touch the two, right? But it hasn't passed the two yet. So it's still in the one o'clock hour. Now let's jump to two o'clock. And I want you to remember again, I'm going to say it over and over. The short hand is that hour hand. The long hand is the minute hands. I usually tell my first graders um, that those are like magic minutes. You can't see them, but they are magically there. Now, if I move my clock to this time, the hour hand, it's still in the two o'clock hour, hasn't passed the three, but now where is it? What minute is it? Well, let's start counting by fives right over here at the one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So right now, this is saying, let me show it to you on here. This is saying that it's two, 45, 2.45 is right here. It's not 3.45, it's 2.45. But now watch as I move this closer. This would be 2.50, 2.55. Well, if you think about it, 2.55, it's almost 3 o'clock, isn't it? but it's not at the three yet. So this time would say 2.55. And then if we move another five minutes, now it's three o'clock. So talk about this five minute intervals, counting um, by five, starting at the one and telling time um, with these five minute intervals with mom and dad. If you are really, really good at counting by fives and figuring out what time it is to the five minute interval, then you can start asking your mom and dad to maybe even do it to the one minute interval. And I'll show you one of those right now. 
and I'll show you this one. So this is to the one minute interval and it's really hard. Um, where's the hour hand? It's at the five, right? Now take a look at this. It's not at the five, right? It's at the five, six, seven. So this would be five, oh, seven or five, zero, seven, five, oh, seven. All right. So keep practicing telling time, practice with mom and dad. And if you have questions, let me know. All right. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.